Hello, I'm Heidi D'Angelo, Geotab's signature team. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to episode one big data of Geotab and Automotive Fleet's collaborative series on Global Fleet Voices, Data as the Gateway. Building on experience shared by both data experts and fleet and safety colleagues in the form of informal chats, our hope is that you gain one action item to help you leverage data to reach your own fleet goals, whether that's increasing your employee safety, meeting sustainability targets, moving towards an embedded solution, or deploying a connected solution around the world. Now with that, I would like to hand it over to my friend, Mike Antich, editor of Automotive Fleet, to introduce our guests for our first episode focused on big data. Mike? Okay, thank you, Heidi. I appreciate the introduction and welcome everybody to the Global Fleet Voices video series. It's produced by Automotive Fleet. And the purpose of the series is to put a spotlight on key leaders in today's fleet management industry. And today I have the real honor to have as my guests, uh, Haley Brown of uh, Heineken and Mike Branch of Geotab. And uh, I'll let each of them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Haley. I work at Heineken International um, as Global Road Safety Manager. Uh, so I am responsible for managing our global fleet from, from a safety perspective. Uh, we have uh, a mixed fleet of around 30,000 vehicles uh, with 100% telematics installed. Uh, however, at the global and the regional level, we have very little visibility into the driving behaviors or uh, the telematic systems due to the fact that we have over 30 different telematics providers around the world. Uh, so in order to gain better management level insights into our investment in telematics, we are working on developing uh, an internal data consolidation tool. Uh, this actually fits really nicely with our, our company ambition to become the best connected brewer. Very good. Thank you, Haley. And uh, next, uh, Mike Branch with Geotab. Hi there. My name's uh, Mike Branch. So I head up data and analytics for Geotab. Um, and uh, my team's primary role is to provide uh, insights driven from the mass amount of data uh, from the Geotab connected uh, vehicle ecosystem. Um, and that's to really help our customers drive insights uh, from everything from predictive maintenance through to safety. So I've got a team of uh, data scientists, data engineers, product managers, all with a single vision of, of helping our customers drive uh, a better insight. And this can be sometimes challenging because we're you know, working with uh, over two and a half million commercial vehicles, different kinds of vehicles, over 50,000 customers in all sorts of industries. So it's really about providing the platform for our customers and our partners to help them derive that insight. And the more and more what we're doing is we're pushing towards recommendations um, and, and moving away from reports and dashboards. But what is it that you need to know about your fleet to help you accelerate? Okay, well, thank you for those uh, two uh, really good introductions. And uh, I'm looking forward to our discussion. So let's get right into it. Um, let's start with a, a first question that's on the minds of a lot of uh, fleet managers and, and industry professionals. You know, how do you access big data to have it act as a catalyst to help companies such as your own uh, reach future goals? Um, and perhaps starting with you, Haley, um, how is Heineken doing this? Well, it can be very difficult to, to steer our local operations in the right direction from head office. Of course, you know, I'm sure this is not unique to safety or fleet management. Um, but I think more and more companies are, are really embracing that the, the most efficient and, and targeted global strategies are backed up by hard facts uh, on the ground. Uh, so in order for us to, to get better insights into, say, the, the risks that drivers face on the road, to know if our trainings that we choose are actually, you know, changing driver behavior, and to try and identify things such as accident hotspots or maintenance um, to, to impact our route planning. Uh, those are, are key factors for us to um, catalyze using uh, big data. Mm -hmm. and, and then Mike, from your perspective yeah. as, as a um, telematics reseller, um, what, uh, what perspective can you offer on this? Yeah, I mean, I think picking up on a few things that, that Haley said there as well too, it's uh, around, uh, for, for us, safety is a huge, uh, one of our, our core pillars, right? And you can really leverage uh, a, a huge amount of value in big data to help you uh, drive better safety insights. Everything ranging from, you know, hotspots, uh, but not only hotspots for a specific fleet where there's dangerous driving interactions, but now we can look broadly across all fleets 
uh, and understand the context. And uh, context plays a huge role um, in everything. So we've, we've got things like our contextual risk index, which uh, helps us look at, uh, you know, uh, driving behavior, not only pertaining to a harsh breaking event or a hard corner event, but when did that happen? Did that happen in the rain? Did that happen in a city? Was it in a rural area? And when you're normalizing this data across you know, uh, various drivers, it's important to understand that context. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second pillar that, uh, you know, that I think is really important to understand is uh, it's all around vehicle health, right? Keeping those, those assets on the road healthy um, as, as much uh, as we're trying to keep our driver's safety uh, uh, as, as paramount importance too, right? So it's things like predictive maintenance. I can tell you when your battery is going to fail in your vehicle long before it did. And the cost of the battery is cheap, but keeping the vehicle on the road is, is critical for uh, customers in, you know, uh, rental car um, uh, that have rental cars, uh, you know, it's those minor damage detections, uh, which are really important for them. So being able to leverage the data and the power of the data at scale uh, to say, hey, you know what, we can tell when you're in a major uh, accident, but minor damage detection is, is crucial for them and keeping those vehicles again healthy and, and safe whilst uh, on the road. And then the final uh, area I, I probably want to note is sustainability, right? So we're in a huge uh, upward trend towards adoption of electric vehicles. Um, and not only can we help fleets out from uh, an electrification perspective, but we've done a ton of analysis, even at the regional level to see, hey, you know what? Uh, even if you were to adopt electric vehicles, these are the kinds of fleets within a specific region uh, that could well adopt EVs. So if I'm trying to help government to inform policy, uh, on uh, different incentive packages, it, there's a lot of data that can uh, be had to support these things. So um, those are a few areas that I, I think are important to touch on. There, there's no mistaking, you know, big data is a very powerful tool that's available to, to all fleet managers. That's what we're hoping to examine in this series. And not only that, but seeing how, um, you know, big data uh, will evolve, the kind of insights you can get out of it. But it's very much a team effort. It's not just a single individual. And, and that's what I like to get into next is, is this team effort. And because you'll have the fleet department, you'll have safety involved in this. How do you involve uh, these team members to interact more with the IT departments within your companies or incorporating data scientists in your own fleets? Is, is that the evolution as to where we're going? And maybe starting again with you, Haley. Sure. Yeah. No, I think uh, more and more um, data science is becoming integral to all aspects of, of business. Uh, I know we've partnered very closely with our global IT department in ways we never have before. Uh, so it, working with them on this project has definitely increased my own you know, tech technological literacy, uh, but really they're, they're the real superstars that are making the magic happen. Um, they're, they're working hard to, to centralize and harmonize the various provider data into our own data lake, create a dashboard to visualize this into actionable business insights that don't just you know make a difference to the safety of our, our drivers because we think it will, but that we know it will. So I think the, the inclusion of, of IT departments in every aspect is, uh, is just going to increase further. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. see the same thing happening, Mike? I see the absolute same thing. And that's, and then that's a recipe for success, right? You can't have um, departments operating in silos uh, at all. And I think uh, to uh, you know, um, Haley's point, it's, it's bringing together the knowledge champions on the IT, on the data science side, uh, with the leaders and fleet and safety to, to bring together solutions. And I see our role really is as education, right? We offer things like boot camps to help uh, educate our, our customers and our partners uh, on you know, different tips and tricks that we've used along the way, APIs that they can call. Um, so that's a, a how I see the role of Geotab in the ecosystem is, is education. Very good. You know, one of the values of these types of discussions and these video series is, is lessons learned. I mean, the viewers, they don't want to reinvent the wheel. And what sort of lessons have you learned that you could share with our audience um, in how you've leveraged big data to reach your own future uh, fleet goals? And, and again, starting with you, Haley, what, what have you learned and uh, what would you be willing to share with your viewers? Sure. I think the, the biggest lesson would be that you're often comparing apples to oranges, right? Uh, we've really found out that 
driver behavior measurements uh, can, can differ between countries, uh, between telematics providers. So uh, my advice would be that it's, it's key from the outset of implementing telematics to really set the standard at a global level that all providers should adhere to or, um, or just really be aware that later down the line, uh, the data will probably need to be harmonized as it comes in to your system in order to be able to compare apples to apples. So yeah, that's the biggest that's learning really, for me. Yeah, and it's really laying the foundation for this uh, for this yeah. initiative. That's really, you can't build a house without a solid foundation. Uh, exactly. Mike, um, how would you build upon that? What would you say are the uh, uh, lessons wanna, learned? I'll build upon that and, and also some of the previous statements as well too. So um, a data scientist is absolutely crucial, but it's not a silver bullet. Um, and uh, it, it is truly a team effort and you have to, consider the problem. So often we, we, uh, we spend a lot of time in exploration, but you phrase your challenge. How might we, you know, improve fleet uh, safety? And if that's your goal, get everybody rallied uh, around that. And that's data scientists, developers, business professionals, all together. Uh, I think that that is a, a crucial lesson learned because so many people think that that just having a data scientist is going to be the silver bullet. It's only uh, added to what you're, what you're trying to accomplish. Okay. Very good. Well, uh, that uh, reaches the conclusion of our, um, our session. We've uh, reached our allotted time. And I'd like to um, thank you for joining me in this conversation, uh, Haley and Mike. And uh, for the viewers, I'd like to let you know that if you like this session, uh, you can click on the link that's going to be below to access the deep dive session that was um, uh, previously published in the Global Fleet Experience entitled Data is the gateway to your future fleet. So we look forward to seeing you next time uh, on Global Fleet Voices for part two of our discussion on big data. Thank you very much, uh, Mike. Thank you very much, Haley. And thank you viewers for watching.